All right, so here's a look at my 3D combat template. What I said I'd do here is I just wanted to make a, a combat system template where I can go in and adjust um, a lot of different variables and get a different combat experience. So I have my character here, and I should know to have taken some, some models and uh, animations and looked at a couple tutorials. So not all the work is 100% mine. Especially the, you'll see like sword, I did not make the sword. And then point out the blueprints I got from other places in the tutorial should be uh, linked below. Um, yeah, so you can go here and see I have some, quite a few variables here. I can adjust how the experience plays out. So I can adjust the number of dodges and whether or not the dodge resets the combo and the, the dash force and the gravity to it. Um, and jump canceling and attack and dash canceling and all of that. So I'll go ahead and play it here. So you have three hit combo here. Get collision detection there. See the dash at work. And you can input a number of dashes, and then after it hits, once it hits the maximum amount of dashes, a slower variation will play. Oh, unlock is off. I can like dash five times in a row, and the last one's going to be slower. So that way the enemies can hit the player, the players can't just spam dash. Of course the player, if you want players to spam dashes, you can just put this up to a really high number, but I'm going to keep it at two. Um, but yeah, take a dive into how this actually works now. So first thing I know, one thing is a there is a lock-on system here, but I got this from a tutorial, and I don't fully understand all that goes on here, so I'm not gonna take any credit. I didn't manipulate it at all whatsoever, but the um, combo system I definitely did combos, and I made the dash myself, but I borrowed some of the the way the the combos work with the dashes. All right, so jumping in here, bit of character setup, gamepad inputs largely the same from the third person template, um, same with the mouse input. Uh, movement input, I definitely had to go in and do a little bit of work here because I needed to check whether or not the player's attacking or if they're dodging. Um, and I needed to get forward vectors and normalize it and add it together to get the, the movement input direction so that when the player inputs a move or an attack, it'll attack in that direction that they moved or at least the last um, movement input. So if they press like left, and then attack like you know a minute later without pressing anything. They'll they'll move left and attack left right now. Getting some more movement here. Jump is I didn't mess. Here's the it's just started out with like uh, jump, stop jumping, and then just the jump input here. But I kind of went in and added a lot of conditionals because for the the system to work needs to be a lot of variables here for like the combat system variables, whether or not the player can do something, whether or not the designer intended for the system to function that way. So you see here, um, starts out checking if they're dodging. If they're not dodging, then they can go in and start, you know, checking for all this other stuff. If they're attacking, if they can jump cancel. Um, if a hit's required for jump cancel, if you can, uh, and then if so, you, you check for the attack hit, which comes from the collision there. Um, and then after all, that, after all that said and done, it'll call cancel. And cancel is over here and it resets essentially everything resets the combo the dodge it'll stop any current animation um, it'll reset the ground friction because I'm changing that currently for the dash uh, it'll turns off the, the sword hitbox and then it checks to be sure if it should um, the cancel should reset the velocity because um, I know at least in some fighting games um, like a uh, blaze blue if you could like roam and cancel it won't reset your velocity so you can like DP out the corner that leads to a lot of salty moments but hey Designers want salty moments, That's they can do that. Getting into combo attacks here. Um, this one I got from a tutorial, uh, at least for the, the setup here. So they have like the, the input action for the attack, and they'll check if they're they're dodging. And then they'll, they'll check if they can attack, cancel dodges, if the weapon's sheep. I'm not really using this right now. That's just a, a holdout. I may or may not use that. Um, and I'll check if it's attacking. If so, it'll save the attack. And this part right here is kind of like, somewhat like input buffering, if I understand it properly. Um, so it'll go in and see like, okay, the player is currently attacking, but they want to attack again. So it'll 
wait for a bit and when they get the chance to it'll call the attack function over here um, it'll reset dodge as well so they're in the middle of a well this will this will just say if they were if they had dodge and they attacked again to make sure that they don't get the the next consecutive dodge after that it'll just reset the dodge there but anyways it goes here and determines the attack direction which is this monstrosity over here where it, it looks at the target lock and says you know if it's locked on then get the uh, vector between the enemy and the player and then point them in that direction and attack in that direction well set the attack direction and point them in that direction over here um, if not then it gets to the last move and input direction and breaks it down to get the Z just so it rotates in that direction and then sets a the player in that direction um, Moving on here, it'll reset the attack hit to false, just in case if the player was trying to attack handle something that it doesn't happen as another move is coming out. Um, and then I did some stuff here for, for my tutorial I followed. It had that the uh, it would have like you manually went in and defined every single attack, and that's kind of gross, right? I'm not gonna sit down and make you know like montage play and then set the you know attack force and then damage and then keep making all these set nodes for every single thing you know i just wanted something fast and simple so what i did is i made a struct of a move so let me see if i can't find an example of it i think an attack momentum yeah i made a, a struct of a move here and i have the animal montage the montage play rate and the attack momentums um and arrays and the attack momentum and the launching forces so that if the player or if the, the designer wanted to put in you know multiple um, movement forces in an attack. So like the player is like I don't know, doing, doing some wild thing where they like dash in, attack, and then dash out all in one fluid attack. You put you know multiple attack momentums in there. And it'll go through and it'll loop through and see if it's valid and all that. And same thing with um the launching force. So if you hit an enemy, if you want to hit them multiple times and manipulate the direction in multiple places, you can do that. You can also override their X and Y and their Z if you want to you know uh, just replace what they had or you can make it false and add to it. Anyways, getting back to tech combos here. So yeah, I'll pass that in. And then I made the um, the I made an overall move struct. So what it does, it, it holds all the different types of attacks. So you have your, your light attacks just for this one right now. But you can add in heavy attacks or like any special sort of attacks, and it'll just be a different array. And it'll go through and it'll get the array. Um, and if it's a like a combo string, it'll go and get the current combo counter and get the uh, index of that attack and then pass it in and then from that move it gets the animal montage, it gets the player aid, and it gets all of that and sets the current move so that anything else can use that current move. Uh, beyond that it'll set the combo counter, um, check and see if it's the the last hit in that um, array. So just see if it's the last attack and if it is it'll, if it's, uh, let's see here, what did I do? Uh, yeah, and it says if it's less than that, um, if it's true, it doesn't do anything. If it's uh, false, if it's equal to it or if it's greater than it, it sets it to zero, so it resets everything. That's what that did. I need comments. Uh, and then it'll just go through the rest of the code. Uh, attack momentum checks valid. Attack force, attack momentum force. Um, here it gets the attack direction and then sets it, uh, and normalizes it, and then it sets the attack uh, force multiplied by it to get the launch velocity launch in that direction. And then here it uh, increments that index, so if there, again, if there's multiple attack momentum, you can get that. Uh, cancel just resets everything across the board. Um, here I have the hitbox manager. This is kind of like a, an attempt at like fighting game stuff, where it's like you get the, the startup frames, you get the attack of the active frames, and you'll add them together, and the rest will just be recovery frames. But this is, I'm not really using this right now. I haven't found a reason to use it just yet. So it's kind of in its infant stages right now. But I am using um, Anim Notifies for to set the collider on the sword. And this is just check for the collision. If it's doing something, if it's not uh, colliding with the player itself, then set it true, set the attack hit, um, which is used other places, and then debug text. But yeah, so it's all right now is just missing is the uh, damage and then doing any forces to the enemies that it hits. But damage is relatively easy, but and then uh, forces are gonna take me a, a bit. That'll be my next thing. Um, besides that, that is it, I believe. Did I go over dodge? 
I think I did. Dodge is kind of nasty. And I'll, it turned into a really long thing here, but... Because I treated it like a like I do the, the combo attacks. But, um, I'll let you look through it here. So it still checks all the inputs there and cues it all up and then it's the movement input direction so it's kind of like combo attacks there but once I do that I set the rotation to where it's going next to get the dash force and I got the, the dash gravity amount here so if you want the player to return to the ground once they start dashing in the air um, you can do that or if you want them to like for a reason like air dash and go higher when they dash on the ground they, they kind of move up in the air you can do that as well um, here's a in-air check if they're in the air that'll go and put the dash gravity amount if they're not it won't because I found that if the dash gravity was um, on what happened to that is causing the friction was causing the dash player the player to slow down as they dash and that was that was rough so that's part of the reason why I'm also I'm also turning off the ground friction so the player just slides across so until I get the the problem where the player gets hit in the middle of their dash and it's like sliding across the arena I'm not gonna worry about this too much I'm, I'm looking to change that out but yeah then I'll launch the player uh, and I'll place the animation here and then this part here is just resetting everything so it'll get the duration of the, the dash so even if it's the slower variation you'll still get whatever that duration of that animation is and then it'll go in here and it'll reset the ground friction and if it's yeah it'll reset the velocity as well but what it does here is that it actually checks and see how much you can set how much of the max speed the player can retain after they dash so you can do something like near automata where um they can dash and then they still get their maximum momentum as they're going forward or their maximum speed so you kind of like get this this fluid um uh transition into running afterwards which is pretty cool um, and that kind of goes in with the friction thing. I had, I had at one point I turned the friction off, or I wasn't resetting it at some point, and I had the maximum speed up to 100% and felt just like being automata. So that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's everything so far. Just got some collisions for enemies next, and I think I'll do some damage types as well. But um, yeah, that's about it.